here to just show you the startup of something I did just recently uh, based on MP Solar's technical support uh, wanting me to uh, correct something that they asked me to do. Uh, they thought that maybe the this side, which is the L1 side, was the problem. They sent me a main board that looks like this to pull out of this side and replace it with a brand new board. But um, did that and found out that I still have the same problem with the F88 error code. Um, and this other side had some fans that were running way too fast. As you can see, I only have it hooked up to my uh, 48 volt um, nominal uh, power coming from my batteries. But I don't have the incoming grid power nor the um, outgoing uh, power to the building that I power, uh, my RV. Uh, connected to this uh, inverter unit. So I'm about to start it up for the first time. What I did is they asked me to remove um, the new board, put it into this other side, take the old board, put it back into this side. So that's what I did. It took about, um, I want to say three hours, maybe four, to do all that. Uh, a lot of detail board work. <laughs> Um, in America, they wouldn't ask, no, nobody in technical support at any company would ask one of the customers to take the risk of doing such a, a big change to a defective product. Um, but because Taiwan is on the other side of the world and um, China or Taiwan in this case, does things a little differently. Uh, I went ahead and did it. Uh, now I have a background in electrical and I do electrical distribution, machine controls and have quite a bit of knowledge about um, designing and uh, building, uh, not circuit boards, but uh, electrical distribution and controls work. So this was not easy, but something I'm used to. So anyway, this is the first time I've powered up this unit. Um, just wanted to do this video so that other viewers could see um, whether or not it works or not. If you've been following uh, all the changes that I've made uh, to, the, to the inverter, um, don't know why it gave me the parallel error to begin with, but um, more than likely it will not work when I first started up, I'll be surprised, but um, it may require that I do another flash update on the uh, control board. So we'll. we'll internet interrupted my video. Um, 
I went ahead and turned on the switch down here and what it did is it uh, went ahead and gave me the F88 error code again and reset and then came back on like it's in a, a loop and it just notifies you that there's an F88 error again like this so it's reset now and now the F88 comes on once again I think both boards are bad or something I don't know why but that's what it's showing and it does that up until it finally just turns off This has the brand new board in it. And as you can see, it just shut off. So, I think uh, I'm going to ask them to let me send it back to them and see if they'll fix the, the unit. There it goes. It just turn back on again. Which was the same thing it was doing before so I think the other board is either bad or it's a control board I don't know um, I'm at a loss I've been working on this for a good three months now maybe four and this other one it's worked flawlessly. It was, uh, I couldn't be more happy, but this one here hasn't worked since I put it in. So I think I got a lemon. <laughs>